Good morning, everybody. Ace Daily starts now. All righty, good morning, everybody. Uh, it is Wednesday morning. It's a little bit chilly, but it is what it is. Don't really have that much to say today. Just because I haven't had anything to think about. Just been uh, watching a movie that has something to do with Friday's vlog. Because Friday, or this vlog, is going to include information about the O. Henry house. See, O. Henry, or William Sidney Porter, lived here in Austin for a while, and his house is now a museum here in town, and we went to that museum this past weekend. So if you're wanting to fast forward to that, move ahead to three minutes, 14 seconds, and I will be there waiting for you. Otherwise, just enjoy what I have up until then. We did go to the O. Henry house. We got to see the, uh, the house and, and the way it's uh, portrayed now. Uh, it was really neat. There was a docent there who spoke a little bit. You'll hear him. And I'll also put some information about their website in the show notes. Uh, it was fun. It was part of three museums in Brush Park. The other one is going to be next Wednesday's video. That's going to be Susanna Dickinson House. So I'm looking forward to sharing that one with you also. But for now, I'm just going to finish my walk around the block. And then I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, on the way over to Bucky's house for Wednesday, so... Oh wait, hands on the wheel. Bucky, and there's Denise, and there's me. We're going to Double Dave's for pizza. And pepperoni rolls. So, yeah, yeah we're doing that. Here a couple of pieces of cheese and a pepperoni roll with Ranch. Alrighty, so, <laughs> yes, gas is creeping up. So, here, here, here comes Denise. There she is. I had to be difficult hey. to get me a cup. Mm -hmm. I always have to be difficult. I do not think it's 81 degrees outside. Could be wrong, but I doubt it. Nope, 65. 81, you are incorrect. Alrighty, so I'm heading home. I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I'm going to put a short little video here about the O. Henry house here in Austin, Texas in Brush Park. Here you go. We're here at the uh, O. Henry Museum. William Sidney Porter. Back outside. There's another one over here. Short story writer convicted embezzler adult beverage enthusiast. Will came from Greensboro, North Carolina, spent 14 years here in Austin, left in prison, uh, indicted and convicted of embezzlement. Um, in his time here in Austin, he drew maps for the state, he illustrated a book, he played in bands, clerked at a cigar shop. He was busy, social, and outgoing. He married someone who shared some of those qualities, plus a love of art and music. Uh, 
Uh, they settled into this house, uh, Sam's Utilities, with their daughter and had some happy years before uh, his uh, indictment and Athel's diagnosis with consumption, the illness that she died of before Will went to prison. Uh, while incarcerated, he started to write short stories with twist endings. He got out in 1901 and moved to New York City. Uh, he did really well for himself there. He published short stories nearly weekly, 380 short stories before it was all said and done in 1910. Um, some, most of the highest circulating newspapers and magazines of New York City uh, printed his work. Um, but he lived a very different life. He went by Sidney Porter in his private life and took the pen name O'Henry in his public. Um, he didn't like to talk about himself. He was a reticent, brooding type. Uh, he died of excess of alcohol in 1910. He was 47. Meanwhile, the house had remained a rental, still no utilities, but they decided to slide it over here on greased beams to open his museum. And we've been here since 1934. I the door. I'm looking at it. I'm going to get myself the door off. Got your leg. Sorry. Very sorry. Thanks for the picture. Thank you.
morning, everybody. Hey, Staley, starts now. <sighs> How the heck did that happen? Hi, everybody. It's uh, Thursday morning. Go on call tomorrow. Doesn't really change anything. I already have videos set up for all this stuff. This is why I've been doing this this method, this this system, this new style of video, so that when I do go on call, there isn't much of a lapse in videos. I'll still be going out, doing a little update every morning, and I'll still be putting other things that I've done to keep you entertained. I hope it works out good. It's working out so far for me. So yeah, the whole change in format has been because of those times I've been on call. I tried my dead level best to get content every day and it was really, really difficult when you only have two hours between the time I get off work and the time that I go back on call. So hopefully this works out, I think it will. So almost around the block. Let's see if the whoops are out. They haven't been the last couple of days and it looks like it's been raining. So they may not be out today. Here's hoping. I'm sorry, no fluffy tails to report. Probably better for them to be inside so they don't get all muddy. All right, so I'm gonna pick up with you guys again after work. Alrighty, everybody, I'm off work. I'm heading uh, out and about. Got some uh, errands to run. I'm gonna add anything that's exciting or even not exciting to this part of the uh, video. So. As you can tell, the camera is not in the position of having... Oh! I forgot, I have a package being delivered today, so I can't go anywhere. Grrr. Alrighty, so, my package came in. Let's open it. I didn't tell y'all anything about this. Uh, I've been wanting something like this for a while. And uh, now I've got one. According to everything I've read online, it's a really good product. I ordered it for somebody in the United States. Because you all know my history with uh, international. All right, so there's my invoice. <gasps> oh, I, got I can't believe it. It's, it's big bubble wrap. Hey. That's not nice. They're all like all the bubbles are connected. I don't know if you can see that. So you can't pop one because the air goes into the one next to it. Uh, it's cheating. I can hit my set in the head. It's tougher than the head and look at it. All right. There's what I got. Got me a new camera. And I got me a cord. I don't understand it. This cord. They basically gave it to me for free. I have no use for it, but it was free. I don't know if y'all had any uh, stereos back in the uh, 80s, but they all, the ones you plugged into the wall, they all had this kind of adapter on it. It was free. You never, never know when you're going to need it. All right, so good thing about this camera, it's a Sony. It's a uh, Cybershot. It's really good. It's really tiny. Show you just how tiny that's it but the good thing about it a couple of good things about it, a lot of good things about it. i'm gonna be able to do some close-up shots for you good thing is, is i can recharge it in the car so that's what i'm gonna do all right give me a few minutes i'll be right Correction. back i do need that power cord because that's how it plugs into here and into the wall and it's got the regular usb hook up there good usb cable lanyard all right now I'll see you guys in a bit just so y'all can see I'm showing you the video on this uh, camera in the car battery's still not charged enough but I can actually zoom in and zoom out Alrighty, the wind is kicking up. It's a little bit chilly. Trees keep falling over over there. And I'm going into the Home Depot, so there's no wind inside, I hope. 
something neat. It's not just me. Somebody's hiding. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm back in Sparky now. I'm getting ready to head home. Alrighty, everybody. I'm testing both of these at the same time. They're both on my windshield. I'm going to try to uh, tell which one looks better, at least to my eye, when I get to the house. So, here we go. Alrighty, I'm thinking that the iPhone is the phone that I should use for out the front window because the uh, Sony tended to want to focus and spend more time on focusing than it did on just shooting video. So I'm glad I learned that. Let me know your opinion down below. That's the end of today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember everybody, if I don't see you in the future, I'll see you in the past year. Bye bye. Please like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment below. Thank you. Da 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 da